Front Row MMA here at Bama 15, the Copper Box Arena in London with Mahmoud Besharati. Mahmoud, uh, commiserations on, on the, the decision today. Um, sum up your performance for me. Um, before I was walking into the cage for the first time, I was kind of lost that desire what I had on every single fight before I was a stepping into the cage. And I felt like, what am I doing this for? And I just, I was in tears before I was even walking into the cage and I'm like, this is really strange because I never felt that way before. And um, before the fight, I was getting ready, you know, preparing for the fight and everything. Everything was perfect. I never ever been, I not been working during the whole training camp, only had two weeks off to prepare to w cut the weight correctly. But everything else was perfect. Conditioning with Sonny um, and training was everything. Just no injuries. I went through everything perfectly. And just, you know, my heart wasn't there in that fight because I was having a doubt what, what, what's going to be a next stage for me. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I can't pay my, you, you know, I can't, I'm not, I'm not trying to earn any money from MMA, but I was thinking I'll be able to, you know, pay my expenses and the money you're going to get is not going to cover you for the weekend you're actually going away. And I came to the stage, I says to my striking coach, Owen Comrie, and I says, Owen, I just lost it, man. I just lost the desire. I, I didn't want to win. I, because if I was going to win, then I would be like hungry again. I wanted to have another fight. And then that would be putting me, it's like... When you're taking a fight, it will take you about three, four months. That's mean no life with family, no life with your friends. You can't drink, you can't do anything. It just, it's like living in a prison. It's just, you can't do anything. You can't enjoy yourself. You can't eat anything. And he's like, I came to the phone like, dude, do I already want to do that in age of 36? I'm going to be 37, you know, and you're living on the edge. And I came to the phone and I'm like, I went, I could have beat this guy, man, but I'm glad he won that fight because he was hungry. He was even, I don't know if you notice or not, if you have a look on the, on the back, back plate, if you go through of it, when I was beating on the stand up, when he taught me that, and I was just talking to him through the fight, I'm like, dude, just go for it. This is my last fight. Just keep whatever you got. And he says, you okay? You okay? I'm like, yeah, go for it, man. Um, I don't want it. Yeah. You have it. Just go for it. Whatever you got, give it to me. And I, I don't know. It's just, it was kind of emotional because I don't. I didn't want to give my fire away, but in the same time, is it, it was very emotional for me to just step back and let all these young generation to take over because I, I didn't have that sort of opportunity when I was younger. I was in the wrong sport, tw taekwondo, for 25 years. Wasted my life. And by the time I introduced to MMA, was I was too old for that. I was about 30, 31, yeah. and I started in the in the uh, quite late. But what can I say, man? Um, I'm really, really happy for Rani, and I'm I'm I'm, I'm hoping he's going to go far with that fight. Hopefully, he's one of the top guys out there, and I'm quite glad he I'll, I'll give the fight to him. And good luck with him with everything else, man. Is it? Is it? Is is that? Is that official? Is, it, is this it? Is this officially yeah. you're you're retiring from? Yes, it was from com competition, but yeah. not. No, definitely, I would never give up training. It is it is in my blood. I, I've trained since I was six years old, and I would never. I I would be there for my teammates. I'm gonna help them out through their training if they need anything. I could. I would happily work with them, but training for the fight, I can't do it anymore. I can't afford to cut the time I haven't had a family holiday with my yeah. family for God knows last few years man and if I was earning you know working put the money I, I would have like 30 grand above that for last few years the amount of money I w I've put towards my sport which I loved and I would never you know what can I say he's it, kind of emotional but it, it seems pretty unfair the fact that perhaps if you'd been a welterweight or a middleweight or yeah. even a lightweight yeah. you perhaps could have you know that run might have been but the lighter weight classes is only just a new thing is that what are you going to look back on what are you going to take away from the, the, your MMA career because we've seen you fight since day one we've been there you know at every fight at every nightclub what are you going to take away from the competition side of it 
All I'm going to say is, um, anytime I fight or any anything I do during the training camp, I've got a diary. I always write down every single thing I do in that diary. And I'm just going to look back and I would love to give that experience, what I went through and I had to learn it in a hard way, which do the mistakes and pay the price for it in the fight, feeling crap, you know, with a bug in your stomach and you don't know what you're doing and um, pass it to a new generation and let them to use that experience to it towards the future. What can I say, man? You know, you, 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 not only, well, see, we can say we're going to miss you because we've seen you fight. And the people that perhaps haven't seen you fight so often, they don't know that, you know, you've raised money through charity through your fight. And yeah. you do, you know, you're not just somebody who competes. You actually give a little bit of yourself every time you step into that cage. Yeah. And you're going to be missed for that. I know. Is there anybody? I'm, this is going to be the hard bit. Definitely. Is there definitely, anyone you want to say thank you to? Definitely. I just want to say um, thank you to everybody. The promoter, Bama, um, my coaches, Owen Cymru, Lee Livingstone, um, Lee Bound, almost a um, um, condition coach, Sonny, which has helped me quite a lot. Today, I wasn't even breathing during the fight. My conditioning was awesome. I didn't feel nothing, like I'm gassed out or anything. I was there, but mentally wasn't there. Everyone, Yo Murray, uh, Roy Romery, uh, my squadron, my friends, my family put up with me for everything they've done. All my friends, they came from Alien Starby to come and support me. Everybody, if I've lost your name and if I can't remember, I do apologize. And I hope you enjoy the fight and enjoy the show. And um, what can I say, man? This is a time for me. And unfortunately, this is going to be my last interview with you lot. And uh, but definitely you're going to see me with the real fast guys, and I'm going to be still there training with them, definitely. Mood, I, I hope that the things that you share with this up-and-coming generation, I hope that they can be half of the men that you are out of the ring, in the ring, with the things that you've given back to the community, to charities. It's not just a shame that you're not going to compete anymore. It's a shame that we're not going to be able to talk about that side of things with you more often. It's been a pleasure to watch you work. Thank you, thank you, you much, so man. much, Thanks and thank for you for this opportunity. Thank you very much, guys. I appreciate your support. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, <laughs>